Today on ComTech Engineer, we are going to take all the data from this hard drive and we are going to transfer it over to this hard drive. We are going to do that using this device right here. This is a Sabrent USB 3.0 hard drive docking station that also supports offline hard drive duplication, which is what we are going to do today. Now, Sabrent is a company that makes all kinds of USB devices, including hubs, cables, docking stations, and yes, hard drive cloners. I picked this one up for about $45, and today we are going to try it out. We have our magical rubber gloves on, so let's get started. First, a quick flip through the user manual will give us a guide on how to set it up and connect it to a Windows operating system. But we, of course, know that here at Comtech Engineer, we do not use Windows. No, sir. We use the operating system of the people, Linux Kubuntu. So we're going to skip past all this stuff and get to the good stuff. Aha. This is what we're looking for right here. Standalone duplicator mode. So let's plug in our power cable which is already plugged in and powered on. We won't need the fancy USB 3.0 cable since this is a standalone operation. So it isn't marked on the device itself, but the top hard drive slot is the source disk and the bottom hard drive slot is the target disk. I've heard that if you use a larger hard drive for your target disk, these uh, devices will create a partition of that same size. So for example, if we have a one terabyte source disk and a two terabyte target disk, when the transfer is complete, we will have on the target disk a one terabyte partition with our data and an empty one terabyte partition with, which is blank. So it's something to think about. And remember, do not get these slots mixed up. I've heard horror stories of people accidentally wiping their drives because they stuck an empty drive in the source slot and a full drive in the target slot. So it would be a good idea to label these with probably masking tape or a Sharpie so that way you don't get them mixed up. So it's something else to think about. Okay, so now that we have all that said, let's get our old drive into the source slot. All right, it's in there and spinning up and let's get our new SSD into the target slot. Okay, so both of those are in, and according to the instructions, we need to hold down the clone button until the blue LED will flash on 25%, indicating that the cloning process has begun. And we will know the process is complete when all the lights from 25% to 100% turn solid blue. Okay, so let's give that a shot. And it looks like we are good to go. So this may take a while. I will pause the video here and we will pick it back up whenever all these blue lights on the side here light up indicating that it is complete. Okay, we are back and the cloning process is complete. If you can see the blue lights are supposed to be showing up but they're not so i don't know if we just missed that but it's definitely done because i don't hear it, the mechanical hard drive spinning anymore so we'll we'll just assume that it's complete and we'll test it later another note i have tried this hard drive duplication process with windows linux and a playstation 4 hard drive the windows hard drive clone worked fine the linux cloning failed and the ps4 cloning 
failed. After doing some research, I found another method that I got working on Linux, which involves using this hard drive duplicator and a live Linux boot disk. And what you do is you use the DD command. I haven't tried that method with the PS4 yet. I'll probably make another video on how to clone those specific hard drives later. But for now, this hard drive cloning process is complete. This is very useful if you have a hard drive that's about to die. And rather than going out and reinstalling the operating system and backing up your data, you can simply duplicate your OS hard drive, swap it out, and boot like normal. So it's a very handy tool to have in your arsenal. And it will also work for bigger desktop hard drives like this three and a half inch. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is the amount of time it takes to clone a hard drive will vary greatly depending on the capacity of the hard drive and whether it is a solid state or a mechanical hard drive. A 120 gig gigabyte solid state hard drive will clone in about 15 to 30 minutes and a one terabyte will take way longer than that, probably five to six hours, maybe longer. And as a note, I will put the link to this specific hard drive cloner in the description. So that will be about it for this video. Thanks for watching.